Hey everyone, this is Stan and I'm proud to present a brand new update to the e-commerce with exciting two new features. The abandoned cart recovery and sequences that you can send to your abandoned users and you can also have the brand new Stripe integration that comes with more security etc. So let's get into the update. So the first thing that we see is if you already have a Stripe connected to your e-commerce account or to your white label, you'll be asked to reconnect your Stripe. So that happens with just a few clicks, just click on the reconnect Stripe and you'll be able to log in through Stripe. So no more API keys. So it's much more secured, uh, no more API keys. And you have more than 25 payments, new methods for available through Stripe. So this is really amazing if you want to introduce new ones. So you just go into your Stripe account and there you can enable the additional payment processors that you want to use. So just click on the connect Stripe and that's how you need to do to use the brand new integration. Now, when you have your Stripe, so even if you don't reconnect to your Stripe, uh, you continue with the uh, previous keys and that will not affect you in any way. So nothing, no subscriptions or, or payments from before would be affected. But the new Stripe is just much better, much safer and secure. So I recommend everybody to do that. But again, that will not affect your performance in your, of your store or white label whatsoever. Now, other thing that we introduced so again everything would be able to access it again from the payments from stripe now another cool thing that we introduced is the abandoned cart so now you have the ability now we have this new statistic is to see how many abandoned cards are for a specific time frame in this case we have one order today and that's why we have two abandoned orders uh, other than the one order that's why we have 66 percent um abundant so two out of three cards were abundant. So you can, where you can also find those abandoned cards is in your orders area. You have the new tab called abandoned and there you can see all the abandoned cards happening for that again specific period. So you can click and just like a normal order, you can see information about the user and what kind of an order they had, what kind of items they had in their cart. So this works not just for a store, but this also works for funnels. So any checkout that people go through and leave their email, that after a specific time that we'll look into a second will be, and if they don't complete it within that time frame, will be added as an abandoned uh, cart. So it will be added here. So how do you set up the abandoned cart? By default, it should be already enabled from your settings in your store. You have in the general, uh, general area, you have the abandoned, uh, what is the, uh, the, the, the time frame for the abandonment? So basically after how much time since they go into the checkout, it will be considered as, a, as an abundant if they don't complete their order. But if it should be one hour, a one to two hours is usually, usually the optimal, but you have you know smaller or higher increments of time which where the abundant can happen. Or if you don't want to have any abundance, you can just disable that. So, but that is not enough. So that is just to track the abandonment. So this is in the store, some way to track the abandonment. But how to create your sequence? What kind of emails you'll be sending to your users? So in order to do that, simply go to your email marketing and automations area. And there you have the automations um, as well. So here we have an abandoned sequence, but let's, uh, let's delete it just to show you. So since you may have other automations, but when you create a new automation, if you don't have an abandoned cart automation already, you will have this template. So this is a template created by us that comes with, I think some cool emails, uh, three emails that uh, you can send to users. Again, you can customize that however you want. So let's go that abandon and let's see the actual sequence that we have created here. Again, you can fully customize it. This is just a brand new trigger that we introduced called uh, the, when the customer is abandoning a cart. So again, this is a new trigger that you can add to any any um, any flow that you have. But this is the template that we created. We can again use it, customize it. That is entirely up to you. So in our case, we have the abandon in the store set up for let's say one hour. So after one hour, the cart will be marked as abandoned, and that will start the flow. So you don't have to have a delay here unless you want to delay any further so the first thing after the one hour it will become abundant and it will start the automation and here we have a reminder uh, which will be the, the the first email again if you don't like this subject title you can change it but we have a pretty cool email 
created here and that links to uh, the checkout. By default, we send people to the system store checkout. But if you have a funnel and you want to send people to not to the to the actual uh, to the actual page of your funnel for the checkout, simply go into the funnels and select your checkout page so that they would receive a link. So this link will go directly into that checkout, not the system default checkout. Again, if you have a funnel where you do abundance, make sure that you link to the correct checkout page and not the store check. I mean, that would work, absolutely will work, but they'll be uh, doing the checkout outside of your funnel. Uh, it Again, it will they will do the checkout just fine and if you just want to do that that's completely fine but they will not go through the funnel so this is the difference um, so yeah you can customize here this is this uh, new block this is the abundant block so this is just basic information this will be pre-filled with data for the order from the order so <clears throat> whoever you know whatever how many products they left here that would be populated dynamically so nothing to do here and at the end, you can add any type of sections that you want. So this is just uh, our template, but you can add whatever sections you want. And of course, here it is. This is the actual abandoned uh, block. So if you create an email yourself, you can add this block that would pre-populate all the data for, um, you know, for, for the abandoned. So this is the first email. Uh, there are other emails, of course. We have here a delay of one day. So this is like the first reminder after, let's say, one hour. Then we have the another reminder on the next day, um, which you know slightly different. And this is a link to either to the checkout or you can send them to the cart. So it's entirely up to you where you want to send them. But yeah, usually the the the, ch the the checkout again, so people can submit the payment very very quickly after they click on the button. Uh, just a slightly different messaging uh, within the email and the email subject title. And lastly, here we have a to delay, today's delay, which will be, uh, again, this is optional uh, for 10% discount, for example, to try to recover this card in, in any means necessary. So here we have the uh, promo uh, section uh, to use the codes. Of course, you have to create your own store codes in your store uh, discounts uh, area. Uh, so that people can you know, just copy it and use it on checkout, for example. Um, and again, the other side of the email is, is all the same. Everything again is fully customizable. Go um, and create your own emails if you want, add more uh, emails to your sequences, etc. That is entirely up to you if you want to create it even, even bigger. But I think three emails by what we've researched uh, and the time frames and the subject titles seems to be uh, very good for email uh, abandonment of, of cards. So you can use and try this one. And don't forget, here we have also set up a goal when the abandoned cart is recovered. So when the cart is recovered, uh, complete, that will uh, exit the person. So they will, not receive, they will not receive any other emails if they, let's say, purchase within the first day. Uh, after the reminder, they will just exit it. And the great thing is that you see, obviously, a goal complete. Uh, so you see that uh, reflected here. So that is the abandonment. It's super simple. As you can see, it's just ready-made template. You don't have to basically do anything uh, and just enable it. Don't forget to enable your uh, abandoned sequence. And yeah, people, when after they uh, leave their card for more than uh, X amount of time, in this case, 15 minutes, they will be triggered to enter the, the flow and receive those emails in that order. Um, and yeah, you'll be able to see information, analytics here, and of course, uh, in the dashboard about how much uh, you've recovered. So this is the brand new update. I hope that you enjoy it. It's super simple, super easy, as you can see. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think about this update. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Do you enjoy this update? What do you think? And uh, yeah, let us know what you think. All right. Talk to you in the next video.